Hey guys, Civic Sport here, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the uh, Radeon HD 5870 and the NVIDIA GTX 295. Uh, I'm about to start the test with the 5870. I'm going to be running uh, two tests. I'm going to be running the new Unigen or Unigeni or however you want to pronounce it uh, benchmarking. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing the uh, 3D Mark uh, Vantage uh, benchmark. Now, uh, a couple things you, uh, you want to keep in mind uh, when we're comparing the two graphics cards. Uh, the obvious one is the 5870 is a single GPU uh, video card, whereas the GTX 295 is a dual GPU. So, of course, there's going to be a little bit differences in the and the performance. Um, another thing to keep in mind that uh, the GTX 295 is not DirectX 11 uh, uh, capable, not like the fit, uh, not like the 5870 is. 5870 is DirectX 11 capable. So um, with the Unigen um, benchmarking, I'm gonna have it all at the same specs, uh, DirectX 10 with no tessellation. Uh, just to keep things uh, somewhat um, the same. So let me go ahead and show you really quick the temperatures um, and this uh, the temperatures before the test. And I'll go ahead and show you temperatures after the test. Um, and yeah, that's what we'll do. So let me go ahead and get this uh, Unigen benchmark started. And um, I might show you a little bit of how it looks like and then I'll just skip to the parts to where the, the information that we need at the end so that you guys can see. So alright guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, again keep in mind that it is uh, two different cards, a single GPU versus a dual GPU, DirectX 11 versus non-DirectX 11. So just keep those in mind, alright? Alright guys, enjoy the video. Alright guys, so here's the test for the 5870. Um, as you can see the starting temperatures is 30 degrees C, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and I have it at clock speeds. So I'm not overclocking the video card. And if we move down here, I'm going to show you that the fan, I manually set the fan to 45%. Normally it runs around 20-25%. Uh, so just um, um, to help keep the temperatures down. I set it a little bit higher and just in case you guys are wondering what I'm running here here are the big uh, the temps for the CPU uh, hovering around 42 degrees uh, C and the specs of the CPU that I'm running is an Intel Core i7 860 uh, 1156 and it is at 3.8 uh, gigahertz overclock at the multiplier being at 19. Alright guys, so here is I'm gonna go ahead and start the um, the Unigen uh, bench tests. Uh, API is gonna be at direct X10, shader is at high, um, and all that other good stuff with anti-aliasing off, and I'm gonna be running at resolution 1920 by 1080. Alright guys, so here's the results of the Heaven demo um, of the Unigen or Unigini. Uh, average frame rates uh, was <clears throat> 62.5 and it actually scored uh, the graphics card uh, 1,574. Um, I don't know if that's good or not. 
uh, but we'll use it as a basis to compare the GTX 295. All right, so let's go ahead and run the um, 3D Mark Vantage, and I'll just go ahead and skip to the scores. Stand by. All right, guys. So, so for some reason, it's not giving me a 3D Mark score with the 5870. Um, I've ran it twice already, and twice I've gotten a zero score. Not too sure what that means. Um, I ran it yesterday. I got a score. I can't remember which what it was though. But anyways, uh, we're not really concerned about the overall score anyway. So what we're actually looking at is the GPU score. And the GPU score is 12,443. Um, which is okay. That's actually pretty good. Um, considering that the uh, 5870 is a uh, single GPU solution. So, uh, so those are the scores. Let's go ahead and throw in the GTX 295 and see what we get. Stand by. All right, so we got the GTX uh, 295 installed here. Everything's running, uh, running good. Uh, all the drivers, updated drivers for the NVIDIA GTX 200 series is uh, is installed, and I am running EVJ Precision. Here are the clock speeds and fan speeds. I didn't tweak it at all. It's all stock speed, stock speeds and it's currently running at 44 degrees uh, C right now at the fan speed at 45 percent. All right so the Unigen just finished um, its benchmark and wow the scores are amazing. We have 80.8 uh, frame rates per second and it scores uh, at 2036 and if you remember with the 5870 the 5870 scored like 1576 or something like that 1576 I don't know I can't really remember but um, wow that's pretty impressive for a GTX 295 um, so let's go ahead and run the Prime, not Prime 95 but uh, let's go ahead and run uh, 3d mark manage and see what kind of scores we get with that stand by Alright, so again, we don't have an overall score. Um, I'm going to try to fix that, maybe uninstall it and uh, reinstall 3D Mark Vantage. Uh, but anyways, the GPU score is at 14,719, which is a little higher than the 5870. So the 5870 is not too far behind in the 3D Mark Vantage. Uh, I believe uh, 5870 scored like a 13 something, 13,000 something. Um, so in 3D Mark Vantage, <clears throat> they're almost neck and neck, but when it came to the Unigen benchmark, um, there was a considerable amount of difference between the two. So there you have it, folks. That is the uh, comparison tests between the 5870 made by Asus and the GTX 295 Co-op Edition. Uh, made by EVGA. Hey guys, so as you can see the GTX 295 uh, beats the uh, Radeon HD 5870. Um, so I know I bought the 5870 for my new build but because the GTX 295 is way faster than the 5870 I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in my new build. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed the benchmarks and um, stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys later. Peace.